When I was 15, I went to a downtown movie theater to see Great Expectations, but before the movie started, they showed a short subject called Vincent Van Gogh. I had no idea who Vincent Van Gogh was. I'd never even heard of him. Twenty-three of his oil paintings flooded the screen, one after the other, in full color. I don't know why they call it dumbfounded. I think they should call it dumb losted, because after seeing the paintings, I was lost. When I walked out of the movie theater, I started thinking about my second-grade teacher, Miss Bernard, who used to put up paintings from almost all of the other boys and girls in my class on the classroom walls, paintings that she considered worthy, but she never put up one of mine. She never told me why or gave me an encouraging word, but I got the message, You're no good at art, Jerry. The following Saturday, I took an early train to Chicago to see the Van Gogh exhibit at the Chicago Art Institute. I could only stay for an hour because I had tickets for the two o'clock matinee to see Judith Anderson in Medea. My critical judgment wasn't fine-tuned yet. I thought the play was just okay. Then I walked to a theater about a half a mile away to see the five o'clock showing of Laurence Olivier's film version of Hamlet. That was okay, too. Hamlet let out at 8.10 p.m., so I ran as fast as I could eat my hot dog to see the 8.30 p.m. stage performance of A Streetcar Named Desire, starring Uta Hagen and Anthony Quinn. That was more than okay. I think what I did was dumb, crowding all those great things into one day. But Milwaukee was a big, small town in those days, and it would never have had a Van Gogh exhibit or Medea or A Streetcar Named Desire with Uta Hagen. Today, perhaps, but not in 1948.